Hey YouTubers, I'm here with another video to help you guys uh, troubleshoot your Hayward pool heater. I've been reading the forums. There's a ton of people that complain about these things don't fire. What you want to do is grab your multimeter, start troubleshooting right where the pilot generator screw terminals are. See these two screws here? That's where the wiring for the pilot generator comes into the uh, gas valve. And what happens with these things is you get a lot of corrosion over the years builds up resistance you got basically less than one volt traveling through the whole system that's why it's called a millivolt system and a lot of times it won't fire so what you want to do is put your multimeter on these two terminals here I have one terminal just wedged in there my multimeter probe wedged in the terminal I'm just holding the other one down here because I got my son filming here at night with the uh, with the flashlight on for lighting here down here get your multimeter this is a piece of crap Centec it's only do it uh, the scale on this one I have it set to 2,000 um, milliamps so right now I'm getting rid of about 443 usually that's enough to fire some people say they see 500 plus over um, this thing's been a little finicky because this gas valve uh, not the gas valve the, the pilot generator tends to swing up and down a little bit like you see there it just dropped about another four or five volts so I jumped this thing out if you want to jump these things out make sure your pool pump is running you do not want to jump these things out without the gas, without the water going through the system. You'll burn the heater up, the heat, the heat exchanger very quickly. You see these two probes here? All you do is you connect an alligator clip between here and here. Not the two pilot generator screws. You're going to do these two sides here. And once you connect a jumper cable here and you got the switch on, uh, this thing should fire right up. If it doesn't, what you want to do is you want to go down here and start pulling these leads out and checking for corrosion see these uh, were corroded but I basically took my Dremel and I uh, cleaned them up uh, you can go to Harbor Freight and buy the diamond tips uh, they're cheap they're like 10 bucks a pop their needle tips will actually fit in here and you can clean these terminals out that saves you from having to clean up all the wiring but anyway back to the uh, troubleshooting here you want to start like I said with the two screw terminals here um, you know, if so you're not filming, you just got two, both hands free, go ahead and just put the red ter uh, multimeter terminal here, the black one here, and then just uh, go look at your probe. So I've got about 449 millivolts now. And uh, I'm going to make another video tomorrow, and I'm going to show you guys how to change out the pilot generator. Um, again, you want to go through the troubleshooting, check the pilot generator, jump out the gas valve, see, make sure the gas valve is actually running. And then check while your sensors set your multimeter to open uh, short continuity. Some all multimeters are different. You have a fluke, it's different. Uh, Radio Shack meters are different. But if you need help with how to use your multimeter, put, drop a line, a message below. I'll, I'll show you how to use it. Um, but you want to check all of these sensors because there's corrosion in these, and any any re resistance here will um, impede the voltage flow and it will stop. It'll, it'll, this, the heater will be very finicky. But again, jump out the gas valve. This gas valve is about two, three hundred bucks. You can find them on Amazon, pool supply parts. Do not buy these things locally. You're going to get ripped off at the stores. These are all of your um, flame detection sensors here. You want to check those guys too. Um, again, this is a very simple system. It's, it's current going through the system with safeties. And, uh, you know, that's really it for now. If you need any more help, let me know. Drop a line and I'll, I'll get back to you.